Hey everyone, I want to share with you a very interesting software that's targeted towards photographers that shoot a lot of RAW files. The software is called Rossi. If you're a photographer that has like a high megapixel camera system, such as the Sony A7R4, that's around 61 megapixels and the RAW files um, that come out on cameras pretty large, maybe 60 or 70 uh, megabytes. Or you're just a photographer that shoots events in RAW. Let's say you use a Sony A9 and you come home and you have two or 3,000 RAW files from a wedding. All these RAW files take up a lot of hard drive space. This company called Rossi and their website is rawsie.co. And we're going to go on a computer here and look at their website. It says, photographer, reduce RAW file sizes, reduce RAW file size for your time and money on storage. So they have an example here of Rossi on the right hand side. You can drop in your uh, pictures as one way and it will actually compress the raw files and free up a lot of hard drive space. As you scroll down, it compresses your raw files up to 80%. Now for me, that's kind of confusing because if you lose data, you should be losing like dynamic range and colors, but as they claim here, no, no dynamic range change, no pixel resolution change, no bit count change, no lossy artifacts, and no color loss. And I've been trying this software for the last two weeks, and I must have saved over 300 gigabytes on the files that I've been testing this software with. And there's two ways where you can um, have Rossi uh, do this for you. Uh, so just scrolling down the website, the uh, website is really nice. Um, they have examples of you using the um, some specs on using the software you can drag and drop it takes about 0.7 seconds per image and they actually give you your second license free so for example you can have one license on your desktop and have the second license on your laptop that you use uh, for traveling and you can also compress straight from the ST card and this is examples of how you can incorporate Rossi in your workflow. And what's also very interesting is they allow you a free version, which allows you to test Rossi for 30 images a day, no credit card required. You can do a subscription, save $9 a year, and you can actually save $10. I'll tell you about the layer on towards the end of the video uh, using um, this channel subscription code or you could pay uh, $200 and the software is yours forever with the free update. Let's scroll all the way to the top. Now there are limitations to the software. Click on try free. Right now it only runs a Mac OS Mojave 10.14 and above. But if you, are Win if you are a Windows user, you can click join Windows waitlist and you can input your email and your name and they will let you know when it becomes available for Windows. Also, uh, the other limitation is it only works for certain cameras. Sony, Canon, Nikon, um, Fujifilm. And if you don't see your camera here, you can actually click upvote now. And you can actually vote for your camera and the developers of Rossi will start to work on the compression for that uh, camera's raw files and we'll let you know when uh, it's available for download. So now I wanna show you in real time how Rossi works and I have it open here. Now, two ways is you can actually optimize Lightroom catalog folders. And this is pretty interesting because you can choose the Lightroom folder that has all your raw files. It'll compress it to .dng format, which is digital negative and you won't lose the linking or location. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to locate uh, the most recent file. And this is all done um, from my external 8 terabyte drive. By the way, I have two 8 terabyte drives. One 8 terabyte drive is full already. Uh, the second 8 terabyte drive is halfway full. Uh, but once I'm done uh, compressing all the files, I'm sure I'm going to free up like probably one or two terabytes of pictures. So we click on Lightroom here and we click on the catalog, click open. And you're going to run into this error if Lightroom is open already. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna close Lightroom, cancel, and we're gonna locate the LR, sorry, LRCAT. 
and this is on my external drive. Okay, click open. And these are the folders. Now, for example, uh, I did a shoot with Jasmine recently, and this is using the Sony A7R4, but it's in crop mode. So each file is about 20 megabytes, 184 files. So you can click on that and click import. And again, this is all running off my external drive and this is real time. It's going to show you a preview of all 184 raw files. It's almost done there. 20 files skipped. Most likely it skipped the PSD files because after I'm done editing the file, I save it as PSD on the drive. So relink files to Lightroom catalogs and ring link it to that. Save compress to is actually going to compress to the catalog, move originals to original subfolders. So you have the option to within the folder itself, there should be another folder folder created called uncompressed and it will move all the uncompressed files there. So it does not delete your original files or you can choose a new folder uh, to move the files to, you can move it to a different drive if you like. So we are going to start now. And we're going to see in real time uh, how long it takes to compress these files. Now, while it's compressing, uh, don't open Lightroom because it's going to cause an error because it's running uh, through the catalog right now. So I'm going to speed this up. Okay, we are just almost done here. A few files left, and Rossi's gonna let us know how much space we have saved. Okay, it is done, and we just saved 4.2 gigabytes, 164 files compressed. That is actually a lot of space saved. Now, if you open up the Lightroom catalog, and I'm going to go to the folder called Jasmine Raw, and I was testing this folder, uh, this folder earlier, uh, these are the files later I'm going to show you and these are both compressed and uncompressed. So if you go to the folder here and we did a shoot with Jasmine and you will notice that all the files here are all in DNG format with no loss in quality whatsoever. I'm going to show you um, side by side comparison. Uh, let's close up Lightroom. The second way uh, for you to use Rossi is just to optimize individual raw files. Now, the folder that I did a shoot with Arlie with the Sony A7 R4, each file here is 62 megabytes. And this is PSD 327. It's actually going to skip it. But yeah, each raw file is around 60 some megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop Artie's folder here, let go, and it is analyzing 157 photos in real time. Nine files skipped. I'm going to see if I can click on that. Not raw, nine files. Yeah, that's the PSD files that most likely I worked on. So it doesn't skip files that are already compressed. And going back to the website, the other limitations, small and medium raw not supported. Some of the, let's say for example, Fujifilm cameras, the GFX 50R, which I tried to use and I wondered how come only five or six of the files were compressed and the rest were not. It doesn't support files, files with ISO less than 12,800. So it kind of skips those. And other limitations uh, with Sony cameras. You can read all this on the website later. Uh, not supporting DNG velocity compression applied before. So for example, if you use velocity compression setting in Adobe DNG converter, which is on in linear raw. So you can uh, see the limitations of these um, uh, later on. Uh, but what's interesting that I found out is how Rossi works and is actually by Dot Photon. From what I understand, Dot Photon is the company that's behind uh, Rossi. Uh, going back to the Rossi's website, how does this work? So what's interesting that I found here is once this is done, Rossi applies a lossless compression to the image, 
it is still a lossy codec as the output is not identical to the input, but in a much more controlled way than the JPEG. The loss that Rossi introduces is equivalent to having taken your image with a 50% higher ISO. So for example, ISO 115 versus ISO 100, no other losses are introduced. So I guess they work with the ISO variance or the ISO noise here, which you won't even tell as I'm going to show you pretty soon. Uh, so let's go back to Rossi and we have our used photos here and it says we can save seven gigabytes. Now, if you want it to be applied in your Lightroom catalog, because if you compress the files here and you have this folder linked to your Lightroom catalog, it's going to say missing file, missing file, because it's looking for the ARW file. But if you relink to Lightroom catalog, make sure you choose the correct Lightroom catalog and it's on my external drive, which is here. Define by catalog, move originals to, I'm going to move it to a folder called uncompressed. And I'm going to start now. And I may have to speed this up because it's going to take um, a couple minutes. So I just want to point out here that there is a folder called uncompressed. So once it's done compressing the ARW files, it moves it here just so you can keep the original. And on this side, it's already compressing into DNG in real time. And ba based off the software Rossi working on through the external drive, it looks to be about one file per second in real time, which to me is pretty quick because each file is around 60 some megabytes. That's a lot of data is going through. And for those of you that are wondering, I am using an iMac 27 inch 5K 2017. It has i7 4.2 gigahertz quad core, 32 gigs of RAM. I don't know if Rossi is using the GPU. I don't think it is, but I have a Radeon Pro 588 gig. And we are almost done here. Probably about 10, 20 more seconds. All right, we are done. 8.7 gigabytes, wow. So if you look at the compress, it's around 22, 21 megabytes compared to the uncompressed, which is like 60 megabytes. Now, again, if you open up Lightroom, and you go to Arlie's folder. I believe it did a shoot with their June, April. Wow, well, time flies. So yes, everything here has been compressed. This is DNG. Everything's linked. No missing files. All the dynamic range is there. So I want to show you side by side some examples of compressed and uncompressed with Rossi. So this is Cheyenne and we did a shoot a while back last year using the Sony A9 Mark II. This is the raw file and this is the DNG. As you can see, when I move between the raw file and compressed file, let me zoom in 100%, there is no changes at all. Even if I do Vibrance all the way up and vibrance all the way up here. No changes at all to the file. Second is a Nikon file. There is no difference between the regular NAF RAW and the compressed DNG. Let's take a look at dynamic range, exposure high, highlights all the way down, shadows up. Get some detail in the shadows. Zoom in 100%, very sharp. I'm going to take the same settings here and apply it to the original RAW. And the original RAW file compared to the compressed DNG is exactly the same. No loss in color, no loss in dynamic range. 
this is a Canon EOS R5 file, which is also a pretty big file. Here's a raw file. This is, I believe, uh, yes, Michael's camera, DNG. Lowering down the highlights, you see all the details come back and some nice hair. Shadows in the background. We're going to copy the settings here. Go to the compressed file, DNG, digital negative format by Rossi, apply the settings. And as you can see, zoomed in, all the details are there. Loading up the CR3 DNG file. Nothing has been lost. Very interesting. Same for uh, Nikon C7. Apply the same settings. Highlights all the way down, shadows up. Apply to the DNG Compress RAW file, no loss whatsoever. And I even try this in high ISO files. There's no loss whatsoever. Very interesting. So when I was talking to uh, Rossi, they were telling me that the reason why it takes them a while for them to come out with certain camera brands is because they calibrate each camera manually and it makes their compression very um, precise. They normally select which cameras to calibrate based on the volume of your request overall. So if you have a camera that Rossi doesn't support, go on their website and vote for it, upvote it for them to start developing the compression for um, that camera. And uh, what's also interesting is they told me that they're going to be releasing next week. It is uh, Monday, July 5th now. Happy 4th of July. Next week, they'll be releasing a support for the Sony A1. Uh, so I look forward to that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get Sony A1 in the future, but that's a 50 megapixel camera and that has a super high FPS. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you come from like an Olympic event, I'm sure they're using Sony A1 there in Tokyo. You're gonna have so much raw files that you're gonna wanna use this software to compress um, all those uh, raw files. Uh, so you can just save on hard drive space. Uh, they're not doing, uh, oh, sorry, they're doing the GFX uh, 100 shortly, um, but the GFX 100S is not on their radar at the moment. But again, you can go on the website and upload it. If you would like to try this software, I would really recommend you just trying out the free version, no credit card required. Try 30 images and see how much uh, space you can save. If you really want to get it, there is a discount code, which is Guam Photo 10. And when you click join now here on the website and you sign with your email and password, just do the promo code Guam Photo 10. And that will actually save you $10 off $79 a year. That comes out to $69 or around $5.75 a month. Um, I think that's more affordable than spending a couple hundred bucks on another hard drive, which is gonna probably slow down your editing process if Lightroom has to load like 60 megabyte files versus uh, 20 megabyte uh, DNG files. It'll actually speed up your process in loading files in Lightroom on the computer screen. Also, it'll of course save a lot of space on your hard drive and you don't have to spend uh, additional money on extra drives. I think uh, this software is pretty amazing on what it can do and actually taking raw data, compressing it to a JPEG file size uh, pretty much and not losing any dynamic range or color or just um, working within, I believe, their um, ISO uh, noise space, and that's how they work in compressing it lower. But uh, it's pretty amazing because I haven't seen any differences between the compressed files and the raw files. So I just want to share with you this amazing software. Please use the discount code uh, GuamPhoto10 to save, your, um, save yourselves um, $10. And I will see you in the next video. And if you haven't, please subscribe.